Hi everyone, so I've travelled up from London today to uh, sunny Liverpool, which makes a change. I want to just talk you through and show you guys a new site we've taken on, which is called Brunswick Place. Now, prices in this development start from 147,000. We can do short-term lets in order to achieve the sort of 10, 11% income. It's going to be done to a really nice spec, but importantly, it only needs a 10% deposit. Now, that's fully protected, which is a big selling point for me, but I'll explain a little bit more as to why it's so important later. Now, I've just grabbed myself a, uh, a quick coffee. I'm going to uh, jump on the Liverpool uh, Central Station and that's going to take us to Brunswick Station in literally three minutes um, and then we'll take, come off from Brunswick, it's a minute's walk and we'll be at the site. So I'll see you there shortly. Hi guys, so as you can see we're, uh, we're at Brunswick Station, we've just taken that three minutes um, train journey from Liverpool Central just to save my legs um, and we're now going to take a walk up to the actual site which is literally sort of a, about a minute's walk. Now in terms of um, this sort of uh, area and this development um, itself, so this um, and we're just about to walk onto um, a road called Sefton Street. Now Sefton Street is the corridor and they're classing it as an extension to the Baltic Triangle. Now that leads all the way up to the city centre, all the way up to sort of the Baltic Triangle, Liverpool One, uh, the MS Bank Arena. So this whole area is going through a lot of regeneration. Now as you can see um, just here as well, you've got the um, Brunswick Business Park. Now Brunswick Business Park is home to quite a variety of different types of businesses, anywhere from the fashion industry to the motor industry. So there's a lot of different types of people um, and potential tenants that you're going to be renting this to. Um, you're also, um, as I said, within walking distance to your Liverpool One, your M&S Bank Arena. So again, we can really stress that that short-term lets is going to work really, really well. And that for me is how you're going to achieve the sort of higher income, the eights, the nine and the 10%. So as I said, we're in a great area. Now, as I said, with it leading up on this uh, Sefton Street corridor, this whole area is going through a lot of regeneration. So that's going to ensure that not only are you getting the higher income, but there's a great growth story to be had there as well. And we've seen this previously in Liverpool. We, we was investing in and we was advising clients on the Baltic Triangle and the, the L1s of Liverpool um, sort of five, six, seven years ago. And we're now just going to replicate the growth that we've seen in that area. Um, down into here. So the actual as I said, the prospects and the regeneration within the areas uh, is going to be really strong. But as I said, look, the, uh, the site's just up here. So let's, uh, let's carry on walking and take a look. So guys, this is the site. Now, as you can see, um, developers aren't on site just yet. They, they'll be on site shortly to start all works. But in terms of a bit about the development, now, as I said, prices in here start from 147,000 for one beds and 176,000 for two beds. Now, the actual development itself is gonna be done to a really, really nice high spec. Some of the units actually have um, nice large balconies that depending on the floor will actually overlook towards the River Mersey. So there's some great, great selling points about the development itself. Now, it doesn't have all those sort of amenities that you might see in some developments. Now, despite you might think that this isn't going to be as attractive to your tenants, that's actually incorrect. Now, people aren't worried, especially in Liverpool, about having things like your gyms, your cinema rooms in these developments. It's so easy for them to go and join a gym or access um, cinemas and things like that for a fraction of the price. There's actually a pure gym that's located literally next door to the development. So there's no worry in regards to not having it within the development. It just benefits you as the investor as you're not paying the high service charges that come with these types of facilities. So for me, that's a big plus point and that's only gonna obviously increase your return. Now, in terms of the um, development itself and in terms of the deposit, now I very, very um, briefly touched upon this at the start of this video. The developers are only asking for a 10% deposit. Now, that's crucial, um, and I've seen this a number of developments across Liverpool require a lot higher, sort of anywhere from 25, 30, some even 50%. Now, the 10% that you're putting down this development is fully protected. Now, that's protected by a warranty, so there is no risk to yourself. Let's say, and go worst case, the 
uh, the development doesn't get done and it doesn't get out the, out the ground, your money is fully protected so there's no risk to you. Now, as I said, where other developments that are requiring your 25 or anywhere for up to 50% deposit, again, you'll only have 10% of that protected. So the 30, 40, 50% that you're putting down is by far a large chunk of it not, not protected and you'll run the risk of losing that should it not get developed. And I have seen that across other developments in Liverpool that have fallen by the wayside. So that's why this gives us sheer confidence that we're not going to have the issues here. Now, how can they do that? That's the big question. Why are these other developers asking for more and this development isn't? The, simply the reason is, is that these developers have fully funded the development. Now, the developer is Fast Growth Homes. Now, they've been funded by Together Bank. Now, Fast Growth Homes, are they a new developer? They're relatively new. They've done smaller residential property. They've done quite a lot of commercial, but they're just, this is their sort of first bigger project. And what they wanted to give you as the investor and you as the buyer is just the confidence going forward that it's getting done. And that's why they're only asking for 10% as they've made sure that development's fully funded so that there's no issue going forward. So for me, that, as I said, gives me just that peace of mind offering this to you that nothing's going to go wrong. Now, in terms of, as I said, the development itself, we're a short walk from Liverpool One where we can do the traditional lets or the short term. We've got m and Bank Arena up the road. And I'm going to walk you up there on, um, very shortly just so you can see the close proximity walking-wise um, to, to those uh, central locations. But as I said, guys, the development itself is really, really nice. We're due to complete um, in March 2024, um, which, as I said, they're due on site here within a few months. Um, so, yeah, everything's going to get well underway way and I can't wait to see this development fully finished and obviously we can start renting it out and tenanting it for you once it's all fully done. But as I said, let's head up now to, uh, to Liverpool One just so you can see the proximity back to that city centre. I was going to walk but 10 minute walk or a couple of minutes on a scooter and have a bit of fun. See you in a bit. So guys, we're back in Liverpool One. I um, hope you liked Brunswick, and if you did like the video, please remember to like and subscribe to see more of, uh, from me and Flambar Williams. I didn't break my leg on the scooter, so only way to finish is a nice beer in the sun. Cheers and see you soon. Hi. Oh, start again, Rick. Prices in here start from 147,000. We can do short-term lets in order to the door. Now that's fully protected. Now for me, that's a big, big selling point. Oh. Rick. Nice.